Hi, this is Lexar Wilton, and uh, this is actually the second day of Incarna. Uh, the first day I kind of played around with it uh, as much as I could <laughs> with all the downtime uh, yesterday. But uh, basically, I'm going to show you a little bit of walking around the stations, kind of tell you, you know, what what I feel about it, and uh, at the end, I'll I'll uh, kind of ask you guys how you guys feel about it and see see what you guys feel about it. Um, Loading screens not too bad. Uh, it's it's pretty quick on uh, my computer, especially with Fraps running. Uh, it's actually probably the quickest one I've seen so far. Uh, this is where you come out whenever you come out of the station, or your ship rather. Your pods sitting down there, and then your ship is right up here. I think it's pretty cool that they uh, they enlarge the ships instead of having them way out there, uh, being all tiny and everything. But uh, the first thing that you can kind of go to is your ship hologram. You can open your ship hangar, which opens up this right here. Uh, you can go to your ship fitting, your cargo or drone bay, and then your cargo bay. You can the open ship up your fitting interface is where you can add and remove modules to fit your needs and change the currently active ship. Yeah, I forgot to go to that before I started the video. Um, yes. Yeah, so far, I am pretty impressed. The graphics are amazing. Uh, I'm not getting any lag, especially when, when running fraps. I really thought I was actually going to turn this off because it's going to be laggy and buggy and everything else, but it's I'm, I'm very impressed uh, by the way it turned out. And I'm probably end up only going to turn it off on my miner just because um, having two screens open uh, with this will probably get pretty buggy. Uh, this is a mirror where you can basically change your character customization, your tattoos, piercing, clothes, hair, beard, uh, mustache, whatever. I'm not gonna go to that because there's another loading screen. Uh, here you can sit down on your couch and it kind of gives you a view of your little command center here in your captain's quarters. Uh, Starting with the left side, this is your corporation screen. If you click on this, it opens up your corporation uh, window and uh, corporation management and everything. And then here uh, is pretty much a screen of everything. Right now it's showing me an omen is for sale uh, on the market. Uh, it changes randomly. Um, I don't know if you can set a setting or anything to get it to show what you want, but I kind of doubt it. So it shows like agents, uh, ships that are on the market, uh, bounties, where incursions are going on, just a whole bunch of random stuff. And up here, you have a news ticker that you can actually click on the links, like for here, Clear Skies 3 uh, is out. Highly recommended you you watch the series. Very cool. He's he's a very cool uh, movie maker. But yeah, you can you can click on that and it'll open up the Eve Online website inside your browser inside the game and you can click on whichever one you want. Over here on the right is the PI. Uh, you click on that and you can open up your planetary interaction uh, window. So that's pretty cool. A uh, nice little speedy trick there. You can mess around with that. Down here on the table, you have your ship hologram again, where you can open up your hangar, drone bay, ship fitting, cargo bay. And then over here, uh, I like this, especially for new players. It is the agent finder. Um, they, they've needed one of these for a long time. Basically, it starts out kind of like this. It'll show a bunch of uh, random people at level one that you can go to. Um, you can select agent level one, two, three, four, or five. And then after you select that, you can open up the filter options and choose what faction, uh, the corporation, uh, agent type, um, solar system, if you, if you want to look in a certain solar system, and uh, security status where that person will be. Uh, like, I have high select selected. 
You can do low sec or null sec if you wanted to, or just choose any. And uh, you can uncheck this to show people that are unavailable to you. I don't know why you'd want to, but only show available, I, I believe, is already checked whenever you open it up. But uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that they don't show locator agents. Uh, that would be a nice drop-down menu if it, you sh if you could limit to limit it to only locator agents. Uh, it'd be amazing if they could add that, but uh, I don't know if they will. But as of right now, it's it's great for new players. Uh, and if you want to try to find out where another you know level four agent is, it shows the system. You can right-click on it and set destination, whatever. So uh, so far, I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, I thought it was going to be a complete bust, uh, very buggy, and it's it's not. Uh, my other character, I'm I have issues with the screen over here showing the wrong uh, corporation photo, and is he's wearing a a robe that kind of messes up whenever you sit down. But other than that, it's been very seamless, uh, from what I can tell which is, is really cool. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think of uh, Incarna and uh, how you guys like the captain's quarters. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn it off if uh, your computer can't handle it here in a second. You can actually undock here. I don't have to walk all the way out here. But you can actually turn it off. This, I am a little disappointed. Uh, they didn't really put too much thought into people who either can't run the captain's quarters or don't want it to run. Um, you can go into your settings here, and it's under display and graphics, and you come over to oops, load station environment. You uncheck that box, and it'll change the next time you enter a station. So you hit OK, close the window. I'm waiting for my session timer to count down. Two seconds. There we go. And you dock back up. This I am very disappointed in. Uh, it just shows a random background. It does tell you that, but uh, this is all it is. I mean, you can still access everything, but I mean, you're you're gonna have trouble knowing what ship you're in, uh, besides the fact that it outlines it, but you can't really do anything. Um, you can't see your ship, it's very boring, but the load screen is very quick, so I'm thinking about doing it on my miner, because I'm going to undock dock a lot. Uh, my combat pilot's definitely going to have, um, definitely going to have the captain's quarters enabled, but my miner's probably going to have it shut off, just because I, I don't think I'll be able to run two captain's quarters at the same time. Uh, for people who multi-box, you may have to do this. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I mean, uh, I was very surprised. I, I enjoy the Captain's Quarters. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, thank you for watching.